Hey guys, I'm Miranda with REI, and today we're going to talk about how to put on and check the fit of a climbing harness. So the first thing that you'll want to do when you take your harness out of the bag is just make sure that there are no twists in the harness before you put it on. So on this harness, you see that you have the waist belt, which goes around your waist, and then the leg loops, which obviously go around your legs. And what we're looking for is that there are no twists in any of the elastic or any of the front part of the harness. The easiest way to do this is just to hold it in front of you so that the belay loop is facing away from you and make sure that there are no twists in the elastic on the back of the leg loops. So this looks pretty good. Before you step into the harness, make sure that all of the buckles are loosened up. This just makes it easier to put it on. On this harness, there's only one double back buckle, but sometimes we'll have up to four. So two on the waist belt and then two on the leg loops as well. There are two main ways that people will put on harnesses. One is just to set it on the ground and then step into it and pull it up. The other is just to put it on like pants, which is what I generally do. So you just step into it the same way that you would the legs on your pants. That's one and two leg loops. We want the waist belt on the harness to be over your hip bones. This is just so that in case you were to flip upside down, you're not gonna fall out of the harness. So once I have the leg loops up, and the waist belt on the harness up over my hip bones, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down. So I'm just grabbing this strap that comes from one side of the padding and then pulling it in the opposite direction. And then adjust the leg loops. There we go. So now that I have the harness on, we're gonna talk about fit. The most important thing for fit of a harness is ensuring that the waist belt fits you. A good way to check this is by grabbing onto the gear loops and pulling down making sure it doesn't go over your hip bones, or you can take a flat hand and insert it into the waist belt of the harness, make a fist, and make sure you can't pull it out. Ideally, when you have the right harness, the padding on the harness will be touching or slightly overlapping. If it's totally maxed out, you don't get a ton of adjustability, and it's probably a good idea to try a larger harness. If the harness is so loose that you have a significant amount of webbing showing with no padding, it can be uncomfortable as that webbing can cut into you while you're climbing like this. So again, once it's tightened down and it's the right size, that padding will ideally be touching or overlapping like I have it here. Once the waist belt is on, we can go ahead and check the fit on the leg loops. So these leg loops are slide adjusters, but some leg loops will have a buckle just like I have up here on my harness. And some leg loops will just be fixed leg loops, meaning that there's no adjustment to them. But this one, again, has these slide buckles. So I can slide these to tighten it and slide them back to loosen it up. As long as the leg loops fit, they don't need to be super tight. They should be snug, but not uncomfortable. I like to climb with my leg loops a little bit looser, uh, but again, that's just up to personal preference. As far as sizes of harnesses go, you can get a general idea of what size you need by checking different brands and looking at their size charts, measuring your body, and then choosing the size that corresponds. Again, all harnesses are going to fit differently, so it's a good idea to be prepared to try on multiple different harnesses. Now that I have this harness on, we wanna go ahead and do our safety checks. So I mentioned this buckle up here before uh, and ensuring that the webbing is doubled back. What that means is that we wanna make sure that the webbing runs through both of these metal loops and comes back in on itself. So you have metal showing on the side with the strap. If you forget to go through the bottom piece of metal on the buckle here, the harness can come undone when you weight it or when you sit in it. So now that we have this closed, we're just gonna take a look at it, ensure that we have that piece of webbing showing here and tell ourselves it's closed. Now this harness only has one buckle that's doubled back, but some will have up to four or more, uh, two on the leg loops and then sometimes two on the waist belt of the harness. And you'll want to check this before you start climbing and also have your partner check their harness before they start climbing. You can do this just by taking a look at it, ensuring that you have that webbing showing and tapping it and saying closed. And then these are both closed because they're adjustable with the buckle or the slide and I'm ready to climb. Like backpacks, most climbing harnesses are going to feel comfortable until you climb in them. So it's a good idea to hang in it for a little while until you purchase it to make sure that it fits you right. Most REIs will have the ability to do this for you, so come on down and talk to the experts. We'll see you at the crag.